Hello everybody, this is Grim Skellington again. This could be episode 9, I don't know, maybe 10 or so of Minecraft Adrift. And yeah, I saw the comments and it's probably a good thing I ended the last video where I did because I likely would have ran right in there with everything I own and love again. And I've had enough of that. Anyhow, I went up and uh, there was that first chest right after the monster spawner. I dropped pretty much everything in there. I also realized I probably should have made a sword, so I did that. And... I pretty much just have the basics with me right now. That way if I lose anything, it's not going to hurt too much. I have a bucket of lava because I usually use those as weapons. They're really helpful in monster spawners. Uh, of course, I have a sword. Pickaxe if I just happen to need it. Uh, I know dirt is really valuable, but I have enough of it that I feel I can risk losing a little bit of it. In this case, it's only 12 of them. I don't really think it's going to hurt me that much. There's still plenty of other dirt lying around the place. I mean, speak of the devil, it's right over there also. So I'm basically just going to be using this to, if I need any impromptu walls or any other such things like that, I have a convenient me convenient means to do it right now. I was debating using gravel, but I don't like it whenever the gravity as far as my purposes here go. So I'm kind of just inching my way over here. I don't know if they can make that jump over to where I am, so I'm shifting right now. So, Oh! Two of them. Hey guys. Um, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to end this party. Bye bye. And go join your brother. Your brother. I uh, better make a walkway over here, otherwise I'll fall. Of course, that means that they can get over here a lot easier now. But it might be worth it. There we go. Is it safe? Safe? Oh yeah. That was arguably the easiest spawner I've ever dealt with. Wonderful. Okay, well, that wasn't a problem at all. And I'm lighting this place out through the wazoo because I'm not taking any chances with you. I don't really want to destroy it because I might end up making a feather generator thing out of it, but I don't know. So let me see, what have you got in here? Oh, you got some wheat, got some bread. Nice, nice. I'd prefer a little bit of seeds, but... Well, th that'll work in a pinch. That'll work in a pinch. Uh, the saddle and sulfur. I'm not really going to have much use for those. But I suppose it's nice to have it around. And hey, I can say I took on another monster spawner. See, so, yeah, is the third one this time. There's a lot of them in here. So, I'm just going to be heading back out and being really careful that I don't fall in the lava. Because even if the zombies think it's a good idea, I don't think it's a good idea. So I'm not going to be following them. Alright, so now I'm going to be heading back up. I'm going to probably collect my stuff out of that chest, and then I'm going to head back up onto the ship. I have all the dirt that I came down here for. I also have a lot more coal. <laughs> I try not to do much off camera, but in this case, when I was putting all my stuff away, I kept coming across coal deposits. So I went ahead and grabbed those. I ended up probably around about doubling the coal that I had from last time. So I have about 56 plus 5. 61 coal. That's a that's a nice amount. I should be able to that that should last me a good long time. So uh, probably uh, yeah. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab most of this stuff. Actually, I'm gonna think I'm gonna leave a pickaxe down here. I'll leave some basic supplies so I don't have to worry about regathering supplies next time I come down. Uh, I'm gonna take all my dirt though because I have construction plans for that. So um, I'll leave a single lava bucket down here. This is a like I said, I use those for weapons a lot. They're a lot safer to use than a sword if you're careful. So, grab all that. Uh, I'm going to definitely grab all my iron. I don't really have any use for having that down there. Uh, like I said, keeping that down here. I don't need an axe, ladder, sticks, coal. I'll leave a couple coal down here. It's always nice to have a backup means of making a torch if I need it. So, I'm going to put that there. I will leave the 20 cobblestone here. Okay, so I have a basic catch of supplies, and I'm going to be heading back upstairs now. Uh, let's see here. Oh, and I don't even have to fast forward through the gravel this time because I have the stairs. Oh, that makes me so happy. I'm very glad. Oh, that doesn't make me happy. Arr, stupid floor. Okay, but the stairs do. Here, I think I can make this better too. If I put this here, there. Actually, that could destroy the ladder, too. Wonderful. Okay. I can make this more aesthetically pleasing, too. 
Put that there. Yep. Oh, now I can just walk right up. That is beautiful. It's beautiful. Okay. So, like I said last time, the reason why I needed to go down to get more dirt anyways is because I'm trying to turn my little boat into an island, which I'm probably going to dub Galleon Island. I know I was going to name it after Pumpkin Buddy, but I think it works better to name it after the ship. Maybe I'll rename the ship in general, though. Pumpkin Ship. I don't know. I'll come up with something. Anyways, I'm going to be fast-forwarding again here because I'm going to be filling it in with dirt. I'm just going to fill it into over there. Maybe I'll get up there. I don't know. Anyways, I'll see you in a second. As you can see, I ended up, I did in fact go over there and do that. I also finished up the bottom deck here. I ended up, well I can't really get into the rooms on the sides there, but I can always fix that if I need to. Uh, I don't think I have much value in there. I can't really remember entirely right off. Anyways, I moved my chest over here, got some basic organization. Not really going to explain it too much. I guess I will a little bit. I got the food over here, basic items that aren't blocks down here, uh, building blocks, Dirt, gravel, iron, etc. Got my iron right there. I'll put that off to the side so I remember about it. And I have all the things that I need to plant eventually over here. But I'm not planting those just yet. I guess I lied to myself in one of the previous episodes as the comment said. I do, in fact, have some more sugar cane. So it makes me very happy. I was afraid that I was completely out of that. So I guess I haven't completely screwed over anything just yet. Everything is still on the table. And I'm going to be putting my furnace over here and my crafting box over here, those parallel. No they're not, why would I do that? I ought to know by now that I would get nitpicky about that. Okay, and as you can see it's also become nighttime. I put out some torches just because I don't really want to get mobbed. Uh, here, let me put out a bunch more though so that the grass can grow. The grass has to have level 9 I think it is? Something around in there. Level light in order to be able to grow. So, it has to have quite a bit of light. So I'm just putting out my other available torches. And there's that. And I'm going to destroy this tree here, and I'm going to grab the saplings, and I'm going to plant those elsewhere on the ship. I'm also probably going to replace it right here as well. So, that way I can have a whole bunch of other trees and have a renewable resource for that without having to cannibalize any more of the ship. I don't know if I'm going to keep those masts or not. I kind of like having those there. The ones up here were kind of superfluous, but the ones up there are very nice. So I don't know what I'm going to end up doing. But I'm liking the way the whole thing's looking right now. It's looking a lot more organic, which was my original goal. Um, yes, sapling. All right, I at least have one sapling. How many will I, more will I get? It's an exciting show of watching trees disintegrate. Two more. Oh boy, guys. This is exciting. It's like watching paint dry. Or, you know, if you want to have hardcore sports, you can watch grass grow. Literally. Anyways, I don't have the patience for that, so I don't imagine any of you do either. Um, there we go. Okay, well, I guess I got three. It's not too bad. I did end up using the bones that I got from the skeletons to make bone meal. So I'm going to plant this here, and then I'm not entirely sure how it works. I guess that's how it works. You just right-click with the bone meal, it automatically grows the tree up. 
So <laughs> that's actually extremely convenient. Here, I'm going to go ahead and plant the other trees. Where should I put the other trees? Hmm. Can I put it there and there? I guess I'll find out. I can. Marvelous. Oh, cool. I wonder what this looks like from the water. I need to figure it out. Oh, fiddlesticks. I didn't mean to actually drop in. I meant to go near the edge of it. Oh, well, now I can look. That's pretty awesome, actually. I'm really quite pleased with how that turned out. Alright, now to get back to my ship and finish what I was doing. So, I think I'm going to start working on terraforming the whole ship now. As you can see, the grass is growing. It was originally not even on these stairs at all. But the grass is moving outward. It's moving into where I put the new dirt. I'm hoping that by morning, I'll have it completely terraformed up to there. So in the meantime, though, I need to get some more saplings. So I'm going to destroy these trees again. It's also going to be more wood, so that's a very good thing. I don't necessarily need to use the bone meal, but it speeds things up so delightfully. I just love it. So I probably will be using the bone meal for a little bit. That way, at least until I have an adequate supply of saplings built up that I can terraform everything to my liking. So, build that up. There we go. Alright, destroyed it all. Now everything is falling apart again. I don't quite think we're up for the exciting world of watching trees disintegrate at the moment. But I will collect that sapling. So I'm going to go ahead over, move over to the other... No, I'll go ahead and plant the trees. Alright. Plant, plant, plant. Okay. Now... Let's see here. I need, I'm really trying to figure out what my ideas for the base are at this point. Uh, I figure I'm nearing the point where I need a plan, and I can should probably stop just fiddling around. So I think I'm probably going to not terraform up here. I think up here I'm going to end up making the base, which if I can make enough clay, then I'll make the walls out of clay. Maybe I'll probably keep the edges here. I won't turn it into a square. I'll end up building it up maybe a dome. No, actually, I have a better idea. I'm going to build it up, and then I'm going to put some type of roof on it. I'm going to have a nice slanting roof. So I have a roof over here with Pumpkin Buddy commanding the house, of course, looking out across the terraform ship. That idea I like. So I'm probably going to do that. C collect my r other saplings here. What? I don't think I'm going to bother force growing those. Uh, six saplings. I can definitely work with that. I can definitely work with that. So, destroy the torch. Let's see. I think that'll work. Maybe. Find out. No, it won't work. Okay. You know, this bone meal, bone meal is actually really convenient just for figuring out what I can and can't do as far as growing goes. It's really nice. I think the mass is getting in the way. It's unfortunate. I would hate to have to destroy it. Let me see. If I plant it here, can I use it? No, I can't. Is the mass really going to be that difficult? Oh, dang nabbit. I How did I walk over the edge? I didn't even realize I was up on the side yet. Maybe I climbed up the ladder? I don't know. You guys probably saw it. I'll just go review the video later, figure out what happened. It's not really a big deal. Okay. Bone meal? No bone meal. Do I... Okay, good. I <laughs> For a second, I thought I didn't get the saplings back. That worried me. There we go. This works, though. So if I just go put this right there. Yes. Okay. Well, I guess I won't be having quite as many trees on the baseline here as I thought I would. Okay, well, at least I didn't suffocate. That is massively inconvenient, though. I'm going to have to destroy you. You are not aesthetically pleasing at all. Destroyed. There we go. And it is falling apart. You guys need to grow. Come on, guys. Come on. Get with the party. Okay. I like that one, though. That one looks good. This one is just too gimpy for my taste. So, put another one there. I'm not going to grow that until the rest of this has fallen down. And however long that ends up taking. And now, I'm going to... I think I'm going to go back down. And I'm going to gather... Go back down into my obsidian house. There was a lot of clay nearby that. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and grab all of that from outside if I can.